is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Chaplin, Minnesota, weighing in at 228 pounds, Curtis Axel. Very talented performer, multi-time champion. Tremendous pedigree for this young man, a third generation superstar. And all the confidence in the world. something about Heath Slater. Every time I see him, I can't help but smile. Byron, I assure you, he feels the opposite way about you. The one-man band's got kids. He's ready for a fight. He's got no time for somebody of your type. These two clowns again. Yeah, I love these guys. And their opponent, at a combined weight of 432 pounds, the WWE Tag Team Champion, Kofi Kingston and R-Truth. You know what you and R-Truth have in common? What's that? He has an imaginary friend, you have an imaginary girlfriend. R-Truth and Kofi Kingston set for action on the big stage. Former tag team champions, and hey, they could pull it off again. How are you okay with two grown men with an imaginary friend representing WWE, Saxon? Corey, look, look who you're talking to. Fair. I used to have an imaginary friend. You still do. Both legal men are in the ring and oh, set man. to start things off here. We're ready to go. And this is one of those matches where it's hard to believe we get paid for this. Well, actually, hard to believe Saxton gets paid for anything. Oh, breakneck speed, one of her a Karana. A knee drop! Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. will jar your spine. Curtis Axel feeling the heat now. Well, he knew this was going to be a fight heading into this one. Well, this certainly escalated in a hurry. I don't think any of us expected to see him fall behind so quickly. Ooh, that kick could be a game changer. Trap the arm into the neck breaker. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Neck breaker. Is he done? He forces his way free. Man, he just has so much resolve. Tag made. Here we go, Corey. This does not look good. 
Up and harsh impact. While I personally think R-Truth is one of the worst rappers in the history of music, what? his offense in the ring is no joke. An opponent has to be ready for Truth to try and land his high-speed offense as soon as the bell rings. Oh, the reversal by R-Truth. One of the things, and Corey, you mentioned this earlier, that a superstar has to be cautious of. Here's the cover. Yeah, I don't believe that, that he didn't win this match right there. Still seems a little early. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Wow, talk about knowing where you're at at all times. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a bro kick rocked. Jeff, no, Slater. The mighty R-Truth looking a bit surprised by this assault. He's still got plenty of gas left in his tank, though. It looks to me like he's really trying to kick. He fights his way free. But how much energy did he exhaust from his way out? He Slater is and a quick pin attempt by R-Truth. And he doesn't stay down for long. Not yet. Too early. Oh, boy. He is rolling. He can crank it up oh. whenever the mood strikes him. What does he Slater need to do now to remain a factor in this match? He can't be happy with how this is going right now. Thanks to up, up, down, down, everyone knows that he Slater's a serious gamer. The native of West Virginia has been on a gauntlet of episodes as well as competed in various tournaments. You could go so far as to say that he Slater is a friend of the show. Slater's also impressed the up, up, down, down community by being well versed in old school video games. Slater rips it up on legendary games from the eight. 16, 32, and 64-bit systems. The one-man band definitely knows how to use a controller. Caught. Uh, I think this is the beginning of the end. A lot of damage has been doled out to Heat Slater. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. He's fading fast here, guys. If I'm his opponent, I'm thinking about putting him out. How'd he do that? I don't know, Michael, but good thing. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. That kick will stop you in your tracks. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take all the wind out of you. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Look at this! Drop kick hits the mark. Curtis Axel makes the tag. When the WWE Universe first saw Curtis Axel, he competed under a different name during the second season of NXT. After seeing him in the Nexus faction and later winning WWE Tag Team Gold, we learned that this man was Curtis Axel. A third-generation superstar ready to take WWE by storm. Oh, nasty impact. Corey, before you talk about Curtis Axel and his background, I'll take it a step further. Axel is the son of WWE Hall of Famer Mr. Perfect and the grandson of legendary powerhouse Larry the Axe Hennig. Over the past couple years, Curtis Axel has been part of some of the top contending tag teams and he's one of the more vocal members of the faction, the Social Outcasts. Axel, there's a pin now. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double-team finishing maneuver. 
The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard. The heart attack from the Heart Foundation. The rocker dropper from the Rockers. Or the doomsday device from the Road Roll. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types. Here comes Michael Wolfball. Oh That's what's up. This one is over. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Going for it. Maybe a figment of your imagination, but little Jimmy hurts. Kofi Kingston is tagged in. Kofi Kingston is in position. Trouble in paradise. Here's his moment, Michael. He goes for the cover. Broken up. And the match continues. Keep your eye on this one. He's got him covered. What a tag team display. Tag teams always entertain, but the entertainment on that one was off the charts. That's what I love about the WWE. A match that lives up to expectations, but still finds a way to surprise us. Good stuff. These superstars gave as good as they got, and these fans got their money's worth from the opening bell. Here are your winners, Kofi Kingston and R-True. Put it in the books, and there was no question about that one. It's performances like the one we just saw from these guys that makes tag team wrestling so exciting. We've got an animated crowd here tonight, as we usually do when we're in Orlando.